from one idea borrowed from the past to another borrowed from nature and going back to the very beginnings of time. The location is the lovely country home in bushy Hertfordshire of hairstylist Riche, and we go behind the scenes now to discover the way a new hairstyle is born. Here, to the loveliness of nature, a waterfall has been added, introducing to the scene a touch of man's ingenuity. Here too, cultivated land blends harmoniously with wild growth, left as a sanctuary for bird life, including waterfowl in the lake. Searching for something new in hair fashion, Richet gains inspiration from the loveliness around him, and the germ of an idea comes to him. Why not go right back to the birds and the bees? Funny? Yes, but practical too, as you'll see. The sketching stage completed, a rough style is being worked out mentally. And so, to maintain the theme, on to the beehive. And so, the bee line is born. A simple idea, yet one that dictates the fashion of tomorrow. This, then, is Queen Bee, worn with or without the ornament. Notice that the theme is taken from the silhouette of the bee, recreating its round, smooth form at the back, the claw-like tendrils of the talons, the winged look, and the contrasting color blending of the bee. Bee in the bonnet style, showing the double scatter fringe, inspired, as you can imagine, from the head of the bee. A style called Town Sparrow, using the bob of the 1920s with a new rounded fullness, creating the new Bebob line. Egret, a sophisticated style shown off to advantage by the colour and elegance of the hair ornamentation. Finally, Little Miss Moorhead, a version of the bee line designed especially for brunettes. Attractive yet practical, and very nice too. <laughs> 